When I joined the company four years ago, the, the business was making huge losses and got into a position of turning it around to a break-even position and the owners at that stage wanted to dispose of the business, which was part of their strategy. We realised there was an opportunity to do a management buyout. I've been quite close to Gary Wilson at Endless for a number of years. The finance director, Duncan Hare, and myself put a deal to Gary and within four weeks he wrote us a cheque and we bought the business. That relationship worked exceptionally well. Um, from a break-even position, we quickly went to three quarters of a million profit, uh, and last year we finished at £1.3 million profit. We decided that the business needed to expand further into international markets, and while Thendles were happy to support us to keep going uh, as a turnaround, their fund was not specifically for business growth, and they said if we needed to do business growth, we must find another investor. We were exceptionally surprised by the level of interest in the business, uh, both in the UK and internationally. And eventually, uh, we formed a relationship with IVRCL in India, uh, and particularly their subsidiary, Hindustan Door Oliver. Uh, and we suddenly realised how big this company was. It turns over a billion dollars, has a net worth of four billion dollars, uh, and employ 6,000 people. Uh, so it is a substantial organisation and the subsidiary Hindu, Hindustan Door Oliver have grown at similar rates since the acquisition in 2005. So we're part of a rapidly expanding company who have growth as their primary objective. It means that we can really start to expand now, both internally in terms of capital expenditure and get ourselves geared up for the new nuclear power market, both in the UK and internationally. The new nuclear build isn't just in the UK. Every country in the world has some aspirations to get involved directly or indirectly in new nuclear build. We're very well blessed with the new research facility that Rolls-Royce is putting in South Yorkshire, and I was instrumental in getting that project brought to South Yorkshire with Sheffield University and Yorkshire Forward. Uh, we've been very pleased with the work we've done. That's going to help us all, and there isn't an industry in South Yorkshire that won't benefit from that investment. The knock-on effect for suppliers uh, of services, the suppliers of equipment, and even down to the local paper shop is going to benefit from this. But more importantly, it's, it's really exciting for schools, it's really exciting for pupils and parents, where we can offer jobs for life uh, in an industry that's here for life. And we've got a set of employees here who are totally, totally motivated, totally behind what we do, and through communicating with them and telling them everything that happens, they've really responded, and I'm delighted with the response that we've had from them. So the future is investment in this business, move into international markets, move into new nuclear build, power generation, and oil and gas. We think there's a massive and exciting future for this business.